Hello my darlings, welcome to my channel. So in today's video, I'm doing the ultimate prom makeup look. So when I went to prom, I did something very similar to this, although I wasn't as good at makeup as I am now. So if I was going to prom, this is something that I would definitely do. So I hope you guys enjoy. So of course, I'm gonna start by prepping the skin. This step is so important. You wanna make sure your skin is nice and hydrated. So all of that makeup can just go on super smooth. So I'm just starting out by taking a milk on my face and then I'm going in with a day cream that has no bloody SPF in it. If you have SPF in any products that you're about to put on your face, you may have flashback in your photos and you do not want that. I'm also gonna pop some lip balm on. This one is the Carmex Original Lip Balm and it makes my lips so tingly, I love it. So next I'm going in with the Benefit Browsing Palette. This is so rich and pigmented, I love it so much. This was actually my first time using the palette and I was like blown out of the park. So what I'm gonna do is make my brows a little bit longer, a little bit thicker and just overall make them super neat. Are you kidding me? Look how cute he is. Okay, now let's move on to the eyelids. So I'm taking the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer in the shade Custard, and I'm just using this to conceal my eyelids and also to carve out my brows to make them even sharper. This concealer is amazing for these two steps. I would definitely, definitely recommend it. It just works so well because it is really high coverage and it is really creamy at the same time. Surely you guys know what's next. So I'm taking the Rimmel Stay Matte and just setting down my eye base. Then I'm going in with the Dose of Colors Baked Browns Eyeshadow Palette and I'm picking up a medium brown to just pop in my crease on a big blending brush. So can I just say this palette is honestly the most pigmented eyeshadow palette I have ever tried in my entire life. It's amazing. So next I'm gonna take a really rich cranberry shade and this is going a little bit underneath the last color that we put down. I'm gonna make it really warm and just beautiful so I'm just taking a smaller blending brush to apply that and then of course I'll take a bigger blending brush to kind of like fluff it up a little bit so next I'm taking the darkest color from the palette and I'm just gonna pack this on the outer half of my eye so the uh, cut crease can kind of blend into this color you guys know the drill cut creases are the most beautiful looks on the eyes in my opinion I just think it's so extravagant and I think for prom that's exactly what you want so of course I'm just gonna blend the dark brown a little bit so there's no harsh lines at all and then I'm just gonna clean out the edges so it is nice and neat so next we can go in with the Stila magnificent eyes oh my god I don't know if this is like sold out like all around the world but can I just say this is literally the easiest way to do a cut crease I love these products so much so literally I'm just drawing that on on my inner corner and then I'm taking the dark brown again and just blending the two together so there is no harsh lines at all you just really need to take your time with this step because it needs to be perfect yeah. Oh my gosh, now it's time for the face. So I'm taking the Kat Von D Hydrating Primer Base. And like, honestly, how are you supposed to know if a primer works? I don't know, I really don't, but it did feel really nice going on the skin. It felt super hydrating. So I just popped that all over my face and then I went in with my Makeup Forever HD Foundation. I took this one just because it has no SPF in it. And honestly, as I said before, you do not want that at all. So this one did have really nice coverage. It's not my favorite foundation in the world, but it still does look really nice. And I know it photographs, <laughs> it photo, <gasps> it photographs well, Jesus shiny. Okay, so next I'm going in with concealer. I'm taking the new Morphe concealer and just putting this under my eyes to make sure there is no visible dark tones under there like no thank you and I noticed that the concealer like wasn't sticking properly so I don't know I'll keep you guys updated on what I think of that concealer so of course I'm gonna go ahead and set that down with the the Laura Mercier translucent powder this one is hands down my favorite one in the world Let's go ahead and set the rest of the face. So I'm taking the Astralis Fresh and Flawless and I'm just packing this all over my entire face because I want to make sure all of the powders that we put on over the top of the foundation blends out beautifully. So let's go ahead and finish the eyes and we'll get back to the face. So I'm taking the darkest color again on a little pencil brush and taking that from outer corner to inner corner. Then I'm taking the berry color on a bigger pencil brush and doing the same thing, but kind of like blowing it out a little bit so it is nice and smoky. 
I'm just highlighting my inner corner with the highlighting product that I use on my cheeks later so I will talk about that soon but I just wanted to make sure the inner corner was popping just like the rest of the eyeshadow though so now it's time for mascara I'm taking the essence whatever the fuck this is called but it will be linked in the description below anyways Oh my god, I have so much energy. I love it. Anyways, I'm going to take an angled brush with that dark chocolate brown and I'm just going to run that above my upper lash line to make the lashes look super full. So on top of that, I'm just going to pop on some falsies to make them, you know, amazing and like formal slash prom worthy. Are you kidding? These are nice and fluffy, but they're not over the top to the point where they like cover the eyeshadow. I think they're perfect. So now let's move on to contouring. I'm taking this one from Sleek and I'm just going to pop that right in my cheekbone to chisel them out a little bit make my face look so sculptured oh my god so I nearly forgot this step so I quickly had to do it this is the mellow cosmetics tinted brow gel and I have the shade light brown and I really just like to push my brows upwards so my brows look really full and fluffy and honestly this is my holy grail tinted brow gel it is amazing like my brows did not budge all day not that I like left the makeup on all day because like who wants to leave with someone you like sitting on the couch <laughs> anyways let's move on to bronzer I'm taking the Too Faced dark chocolate soleil I never use this I thought it was about time to change everything up and it did look really nice so just bronzing up my cheekbones and also around my forehead and my jawline so of course I like to clean up that contour line a bit so I took my Laura Mercier powder again and I just did a little bit of baking nothing dramatic I pretty much just like wiped it off straight away and it still looked so clean clean and sharp. Now it's time for blush. I'm taking this one from Becca. This is a beautiful, really deep berry tone and I wanted something really neutral since we do have like quite a lot going on. But of course I want that pop of color on the cheek. So I just put a little bit on the apples and then blended it back. So next it's time for highlight. So this one's a new one from BH Cosmetics and it is so pigmented and beautiful. Oh my god, if you guys haven't tried this, I would definitely recommend it. It's honestly like just as good as the Anastasia Glow Kits. It is just great quality and I'm putting heaps on because hello, for like formal, you need it to glow for those photos. So on my cheekbones and also on my nose, like duh. For the lip liner, I'm taking this one from Essence in the shade In The Nude. I really wanted to use a mixture of affordable products and high-end. So this one is really good. It's a perfect nudie pink lip liner. So I'm just going to overline my lips and then I'm going in with this lipstick from The Balm. And this is a beautiful nude color. This one's in the shade... Oh, fuck. I do not know how to say that. So I'm going to leave that down below. So next, I'm just going to go over my lips with some lip gloss. I wanted them to be really juicy and glossy, gorgeous for those photos. This one's from Kylie Jenner, and it's in the shade Like. Lastly, I'm going to set my face with the NYX Dewy Finish Mist. I really want my face to be glowy and just really, like, hydrated looking. So I just took my hair down, and oh, if you ever wear buns, this is why your hair probably dies, because the ends are all scrunched up. It's so bad for your hair, but, like... YOLO. My favorite straighteners in the world are GHDs. They just work so well and they last so long. So I'm just parting my hair to make sure all of my hair is straight. And then I'm going in with my favorite dry shampoo. It is the Batiste Extra Extra Large Volume. It makes my hair so big. It's full of secrets. So ladies and gentlemen, here we have the finished makeup look. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a massive thumbs up because it helps me out so much. I love you and I will see you in my next video.